Hey guys, welcome to the Now I'm Adam Kovic. And I'm James Willems. And do you like video games being ruined for you before they come out? Yeah, like literally days before you can just play them yourself and experience those things. Do you want those things ruined for you? No! I well, don't! And we've got a story for you. God damn it! It's called Fallout 3. Nope. What? Four. four. That was quick. Fallout 4. Let's get to the story, shall we? Wait! Uh, Oh, hi. Before we jump right into the story, yes. there's gonna be a lot of spoilers for Fallout 4. Again, mm. a game coming out in mere days, so if you don't want to see those spoilers, just mute the video, or, or just do open a different window or do something. But keep we, it running, we want that watch we time. We absolutely need the watch time. Yep. We need it back, we, so. Like hungry children, we need your views. Well, no, they need food. They don't need views. Mute the video. On to the story. So the main story here is that a lot of Fallout 4 footage has leaked. We will not be showing those videos because uh, we don't want to take down notice. But also, that's just wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you can find links to the things that you might want to see if that's your proclivity in the description. No problem. It's called Pastebin, yo. Yeah, but on anyway, let's get on with the leaks. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, a pee joke. So first up, a four-part video series of leaked gameplay videos completely spell out what appears to be the first section of the game. Yeah, you know that pre-war happy 50s America part? In the footage, we see the player walking around his idyllic Americana household before a vault tech representative knocks at the door. Mm -hmm. The rep tells the player that their national service has qualified them for the entrance of Vault 111. 111? What do you 111. Mean? Sure, let's do that. Which is pretty important because otherwise it'd be a pretty short game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the player then fills out a registration form, which is how you allocate your initial stat points and skills. And then in the next video, the bombs drop. Boom! Take it away, Lawrence. Uh, yeah, essentially that's when the player runs through this perfect Americana city to make it to the vault. Uh, interesting note, did sound like one Ron Perlman was on the TV warning oh. everybody that uh, Philadelphia and other big cities were starting to go dark, so it's kind of an interesting nod to a Fallout tradition at this point. Well, he was in the other... Pacific Rim's a great film. He's got big teeth. So we're being pretty generic about all this. We don't want to, like... Essentially, because we'd be retelling the video to you, and odds are you're already watching it yourself, so we don't want to spoil every little fucking thing. And honestly, would you rather play the game or just listen to people talk about it? I guess this is YouTube, so yeah, we already know the answer to that. Yeah, I mean, they're here, so... We're getting meta with our jokes now. Right? It's just a bunch of people watching us muted. Hey, can you see us? Let me out of the box. The third video, we get into all the Wasteland stuff mm -hmm. proper. Um, you get to see... Uh, the Wanderer and dog meat rolling through an abandoned city shooting mutants and some sort of weird dog creature things. It, it's pretty classic as far as Fallout goes. Yeah, the clip does reveal some small bits though, like you can loot items without going to submenus. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little pop-up window. And there's a tiered quick menu for selecting guns that's reminiscent of Assassin's Creed. The last video in this quartet of leaks shows more combat and looting. Um, you know the routine, poking through drawers, shooting the heads off mutants, looking at weird posters on the wall, all kinds of other fun stuff you can do in the wasteland. Is there one person out there who's kind of surprised, who's never played Fallout before, I guess? He's like, what is all this madness? It's crazy! How come he goes from shooting, to then you see him, and then there's percentages, and then he's shooting some more? I, I, well, this isn't Batman. Like we said, we're not going to repost those videos in whole or in part, but provided they're still online where we found them, so you can actually check our sources for the description. Go ahead. You'll, you can find them, just... Google's your best friend, y'all. But that's not the only leak that came out this weekend, is it, Lawrence? No, no. Uh, Reddit user Dance Potato Dance, which is mm. a pretty good name, posted a full list of the game's 70 perks on Reddit uh, just under a day ago, actually. It's already been removed, because Bethesda's pretty quick on that, but you know, the internet works, so it's been reposted on other websites. Uh, website orcz.com even posted all the descriptions and tied it to the official perk poster that Bethesda put out, so now you can click through each one of those pictures and see what it actually goes to. It's pretty cool. As usual, the luck-based perks seem to be the most interesting. Bloody Mess is different though, instead of randomly exploding enemies. In Gore, it adds plus 10% damage per rank. Pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Idiot Savant is also really unique. It gives you a random chance to earn three times the experience on any action, and the lower your intelligence, the higher the chance. It's kind of like a Rain Man kind of perk. So you just watch Wapner? Yeah, yeah. Definitely Wapner. No one's gonna get that. No, joke. that joke is way over their heads. Tom Cruise is in great films. Keep that in mind. He's much like Ron Perlman. Charisma also has some cool shit in there too, like Intimidation, which gives you a chance to pacify any human you point a gun at that's below your level. Neat. Yeah, but there's even more leaks. What are what are the rest of the leaks, Lawrence? Oh boy, it gets it gets pretty in the weeds from here on out. Reddit user ISUS. Not ISIS, by the way. Compiled leaks from a uh, Spanish uh, forum El Otro Lado, and even more leaked gameplay from a user called KJ the Monarch. By the way, you probably don't want to post all this leaked information tied to your online handle, but hey, whatever. What do I know? But the uh, the list does point out a few interesting aspects to the game. It seems like weapons no longer have a condition, and theoretically no longer need to be repaired. 
So if you get a good gun, you'll have it forever, maybe? Oh, I like that. This was speculated actually a while ago, Lawrence. People were talking about that like in early E3 videos. So oh, yeah, 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 I guess this just kind of confirms it, right? Maybe. I wouldn't expect some other kind of metric to take its place. Uh, the problem is in a Fallout game or like Skyrim, you can accidentally find a super overpowered weapon and then just cruise through the entire game. Hmm. Uh, there's got, there's bound to be some some like thing that gates that in, though, whether it's limited ammo or like a stat requirement, something like that. Yeah, but that's not the only thing we've noticed that's changed. Um, apparently, in conversations, you can't just switch your style in the middle. So you can't mm. just be like being really rude to someone and really mean, and then at the very end say something nice and they'll love you for it. Apparently, once you pick a path of aggression or kindness or whatever, that's what you have to stick to. Yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Uh, we saw that with Skyrim, where they very much simplified the menu system. Like, I, I, Fallout wasn't really, you know, anything life-changing or anything like that, but like Skyrim definitely made it simplified and makes sense that it's even more so in Fallout 4. It also seems like it makes more sense within the world, right? Like, you can't just say something. I can't just be like, hey, you idiot, stop being an idiot, you uh, dumb idiot. Just kidding, I like your shirt. Really? Yeah, give me money. It doesn't work like that. No. There are also a few other small details in there. Power Armor runs on fusion cores now. That's neat. And there's also apparently no hardcore mode, which we saw on Fallout New Vegas. Uh, but, you know, with the PC version, I'm sure it could be done with mods. And they even said mods are coming to the console version, so I don't know why that couldn't be patched in later. Yeah, yeah. Well, also, what do they change about the cover system, Lawrence? That's apparently contextual now. There wasn't really one before, so this is a nice addition. The, the writer seemed to say it was similar to Metal Gear Solid Five. so by that I interpret, like, you just walk close to a wall and your dude will just snap up next to it. And then if you aim down sights, you'll pop out and shoot. Um, that's a good system. It's worked well in the games that have used it so far. They're really nailing that shit down, so. That just about covers all the big stuff, right? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, so we don't need to play a game anymore, do we? No, not really. You can just live vicariously through videos, Joel, yeah. you idiot. Just watch these four videos and it's basically like playing Fallout 4. So also keep in mind, this is Fallout. There's a lot more out there yeah. and, I mean, really just watching someone else play does not do the game justice because I think you put 100 people in a room, they're gonna play the game 100 different ways. That's sort yeah, of the yeah. beauty of Bethesda games. Also, all of this is still kind of speculative. Like, we've seen the videos, and so we know that stuff's in it, but as far as, like, figuring out what these perks necessarily do and the limitations of those perks and all kinds of the gameplay mechanics, there's probably so much more. These games are very deep, mm -hmm. and so there's... A, Probably a thousand other things that haven't even been covered that people are just gonna discover once they start playing the game. Right, and like I said, it's your story, but one story that people aren't really happy about is Bethesda. They're not really happy that all the stuff leaked, right, mm -hmm. Lawrence? Yeah, in a word, uh, Bethesda VP of Marketing and PR Pete Hines is, quote, upset. Also saying that it's like watching someone else open your Christmas presents in November. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of a bummer, I can imagine that, though. You work on something for five years, you have all this, this grand explosion prepared, and then somebody lets the bet cat out of the bag early. That mm -hmm. sucks. Uh, and as usual, uh, Heinz Twitter boss trophy has earned his title all over again. At uh, Poeta Colerico, sagely asked for the game to be released early since it got leaked, because that always works. <laughs> to which Pete Heinz just replied, hush now. Just, yeah. just, just gotta be quiet. Just give me a sec. Quiet. Mm. Settle down. It's, it's, we're eight days away, right? It's eight days until Fallout 4 comes out. Really release it now! Like, I want it now! I want it now! I put a dollar down at GameStop. I want my pre-order. Video's out. Give me game early right now. I mean, like, like I said, if you're waiting for this game, it's it's been hotly anticipated uh, for the last six months when they announced it. Yeah. I don't know. It's something that we've been kind of expecting for a while, but you could wait a week, right? Yeah. I mean, just, just avoid all the videos. Don't look at the stuff. We can talk about it and speculate about fun things, but like, you're going to want to experience the game for yourself. That's what I think makes Fallout games and Bethesda games so great. It's funny because I feel like people might be upset because they see other people playing the game they want to play, oh, but sure. they don't realize that that's the same upset that Bethesda feels watching other people play this game that they shouldn't have about? it be out yet, right? The, what? It's the same thing as the Christmas present thing. It's just like someone else playing with your toys. Joel, I need you to draw a chart of what James just said. Oh, yes. Thank you. Tortured logic. Lots of lines, hard angles, and more lines. Listen, we're all about empathy here. We put ourselves in their position. We feel their pain. I wish that I could just run and hide and s just seek shelter in some sort of vault and never have to see the world explode when Fallout comes out. When Fallout comes out, are you gonna take time off of work? Yeah, I'm taking about six months off to play Fallout 4. That's what professionals do. Also, yeah. I'm taking my birthday off, Joel. Yeah, I saw a birthday week. I'm going to Disneyland to play Fallout 4. Stupid. Should be a lot of fun. I wish the teleprompter was working this episode because we were reading it off these these sheets of papers. Which is why we were always like looking down. We're bad at reading. Yeah, but I need to order a new monitor. Yeah, also, yeah, the monitor's broke. I haven't done a no episode in like eight weeks. Didn't you? Oh, yeah, you didn't. Yeah. Oh, well. Thanks for watching. Stopping. Oh, uh, unmute. All right, guys, sorry. We have a retraction. Retraction! For retraction, real quick. Retraction. Uh, in our last video, when we discussed Sony's exclusives, we erroneously mentioned, or rather I did, that Tekken 7 was a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Turns out it's coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. 
You guys very respectfully let us know, so thank you for that. Always keeping us honest. I love you for that.